Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So today we're gonna be doing a highlight recovery test between the A7 III and the Pocket 4K. So I was actually pretty shocked about the results that I got from this test. So basically what we did was I was indoors and I exposed for myself and just let the highlights in the background blow out. It was around four stops and two thirds almost five stops over as far as the clouds you're looking at. So what you're looking at is the S-log file and then the raw lossless file. And then we're gonna convert it directly to Rec 709. So after converting it to Rec. 709, what I did next was just recover the highlights. That's all I did. On the Pocket 4K, I didn't actually use the highlight recovery because I wanted to recover the highlights the same way I recovered it in the Sony a7 III. And uh, I want you guys to download these files and take a look at it yourselves. Is it just me or is the Sony a7 III's uh, dynamic range is actually not that bad so the only really thing that I don't like on a Sony a7 III was the was the rendition of my skin tone granted you can get this fixed in post but I just like how natural the pocket 4k skin tones was other than that I'm actually pretty surprised on how the Sony a7 III did